hate being this, you know, the bleh and bleh. Can't be sexy anymore, going bleh. Tried everything to lose the weight. I, I uh, got drunk one night and ended up ordering P90X and, uh, <laughs> Everybody who made a noise, order P90X. <laughs> First of all, the only reason why I ordered it is because I was too drunk and too lazy to get up and look for a missing remote. <laughs> I finished up a show in St. Louis. I'm in a hotel. The TV's already on. I walk into the hotel room. I'm eating a triple hamburger, and the P90X commercial comes on. Now, I don't know if you know what it is, but it's one of these extreme workout videos that they sell late at night. It's an infomercial, but they brainwash you, I'm sure of it, because after about 46 minutes into it, I'm looking at the TV going, hell yeah, I want to be in the best shape of my life! I called them up. I did, y'all. I called them up. I said, my life changes tomorrow. That lady goes, you want it in famous? I go, hell no, I'm in my 40s. I got credit. Send that to me tomorrow. And they overnight it to me, right? And I got it to the house. Now, now, first of all, I actually cut my hand open just trying to open up the package. <laughs> Looking back on it, I think that was God trying to tell me, hey, I'm going to hurt you just a little bit. <laughs> you throw this <laughs> away. I don't know if your God says <laughs> to you, but he said it to me that day. <laughs> but I opened it up. Now, by, by applause, who's all done P90X or Insanity? Either one. Clap if you've done either program now. <laughs> really? Really, big dude? Really? <laughs> Did you actually do the exercises or? One day. One day. <laughs> I kind of could tell. You did one day. I did three days of it. That's all I did was three days of the P90X. I stopped after three days because I can no longer actually squat down. I did. I told my kids. I said, get out that instruction book and tell me where my thighs are supposed to violently shake. I got to where I just had to hover over it like I was at a yogurt dispenser just... Yes, that was me pinching it off. I walked into the bathroom the other day, y'all, with a pillow. You hear me? A pillow. See, you ladies don't even understand this bit because so many of you do not appreciate a good turn your entire life. You don't. You can't. You don't spend enough time with it. The older that you get as a man, the more you're going in there waiting on a train that's never going to show up. And now that they came out with Angry Birds, I know my legs going to ball asleep. I know my legs. And then when I tried to do the dismount, they slipped out from under me, thrusting me forward, hitting the bathtub across my forehead, knocking me out for an hour and a half. And that's hard to explain to your children why your pants are around your ankles playing Angry Birds. They all looked at me and shook their head and walked out. I'm like, hey, your daddy's falling and he can't get up. And I'm not 50 yet, so I don't have a life alert. So now I walk in there and I put a pillow strategically placed in front of me and I'm OSHA approved. And uh... See, I love that joke because that last line, that OSHA approved, all I get to see are the people that actually work for a living with that joke right there.